How many are ready? Amen. Amen. First of all, I just want to thank God for my salvation. Amen. Thank him for what he's doing within my life, with my family's life. I'm just grateful for every day that I wake up and just give me another breath of life. Amen. It's just a blessing to be here and a, a privilege this evening to begin to bring the word behind this pulpit. I'm grateful for my pastors, Pastor James, Sister Jessica. Amen. They do a lot. Amen. Not just for me, my family, but for the whole church. Amen. So I'm very, very grateful for them. I'm grateful for the men's home. Amen. For what they do and everything. You know, if it wasn't for the men's home, I don't know. Amen. I've, you know, this, I've learned a lot there. Amen. And it's not, it's not easy, but it's, it's, it's a good thing. Amen. And how many know that when God does something great, it's not easy. Amen. Also, I'm grateful for my wife. Amen. She's not in here right now. She's back there in the children's ministry. But just grateful for her as well for always being there and always being that pusher to encourage me to continue to keep going. Amen. And if we have our Bibles, let's open up our Bibles to the book of Luke chapter 18. Amen. And tonight, if you're looking for a a title, uh, be persistent in the storm. Amen. Because how many know that we go through things? Amen. And sometimes it's easy. We begin to begin to give up when we're going through a storm or when, 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 when the rubber meets the road, we're easy to give up. Amen. But how many know that we need to be persistent when things begin to take place? Be persistent and stay in the course of where God is trying to take us. Amen. In John, I mean, in Luke chapter 18, verse 1. Let's pray. Father God, I just come before you tonight, Lord. I just pray that you just begin to remove me. Let the spirit flow through me tonight, Father God, that you speak to the people as you've spoken to me, Father God, that you just begin to remove everything, Father God. And I just pray, Holy Spirit, that you just begin to let this word fall on good soil, Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus. And the church says, amen and amen. It says, then Jesus told his disciples... A parable to show them to to show them always to pray and to never give up. Say never give up. He said in a certain town there was a judge who never feared God nor cared what people thought. And there was a widow in the town who who kept coming to him with a plea. Grant me justice against my adversary. For some time he refused but finally he said to himself. Even though I do not fear God or care what people think, yet because this widow keeps bothering me, I will see that she gets justice so that she won't eventually come and attack me. And then the Lord said, listen to what unjust judge said and will and will not and and will not God bring about justice for this chosen ones who cry out to him day and night we will we he will keep putting them off and i tell you he will see that he will see that get justice and quickly however then the son of man comes and he will find faith on the earth amen and tonight i just want to speak a little bit about the uh, the persistent widow amen how many know that she was persistent in 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 what she was doing Amen. She was persistent in, in what she was doing. And have you ever felt like giving up, giving up something because it was taking too long or, or you didn't want to learn about it? Maybe you were going through a therapy and you're going through pain and they caused you, they caused you to feel some kind of way and you, be, and you didn't want to go no more because the results they gave you were not evident. Have you ever thought about giving up in prayer because you continue to pray for that family member or continue to pray for that soul and you never see him come into the church house? See, it's easy to begin to begin to get off track. It's begin to easy to not begin to persist, be persistent in what we do. Amen. And imagine if, imagine your life of you had, of you had never been learned, learned how to walk. Amen. For a child learning to walk, it's a real task. They have no sense of balance and they have to work to develop their muscles so they can pull themselves up to the table or the chair and to remain standing. See, the child learns to reposition their legs to move from from one place to another. 
they begin to wobble each step they take, and they, and they continue to fall many times before learning them new skills. See, but children don't give up until they accomplish the task. And us as human beings or us as adults or us are men of God or women of God, how many, it's easy for us to begin to give up when we begin to fall into a situation. It's, begin, it's easy for us to begin to, to not pray no more because we don't see that family member coming. It's easy for us to stop praying because we don't see that person getting healed. It's easy for us to stop doing something when we don't see the hand of God moving. Amen. See, but this widow and this, ch- and this child, they're persistent in what they do. They're persistent. Why are they persistent? Because they're, they're, they're anxious to see, what, see what's going to begin to take place. And they're persistent. They're going to continue to try it until it happens. And that's just like us as Christians. That's, that's just like us tonight. We need to continue to be persistent and see what God has for us. Don't just give up because the, the, you don't see the hand of God moving. Just don't give up because you don't see your prayer answered. Just don't give up because you don't see that family member here. No, we got to be persistent. Say be persistent. We got to be persistent in what God's going to continue to do. Amen. See, as they gain the strength and the balance, their self-confidence becomes greater and greater. Soon they have mastered that skill of walking. See, children are, children are not afraid to try new skills. Where we, seem to find the, where we seem as adults to find that comfort zone and we want to stay there. We want to stay in that comfort zone and we don't want to continue to move and see what God, see what else has, God has for us. See, many of us are not interested in doing or learning something new because we are, we are comfortable in living in, in our present life. See, we got to begin to be persistent and continue to see what God has for us. See, when it comes to praying, children, children pray for the impossible, but we as adults, we, we, we pray for what we can only see and we, we can touch. And I read, a, I was reading, I'm reading this book and there's a story in there about this little boy. And this little boy, he wanted a dog. He wanted a dog and he was persistent and he kept on asking his mom and dad if he can have this dog and his parents didn't want a dog in the house. But the child, he kept on asking and asking and asking for this dog. And, and the dad was like, man, he's persistent. He's persistent in what he's asking me. He's persistent. He wants this dog. So he told his son, if God really wanted you to have this dog, he would give it to you. So the son said, okay. So he went to the backyard and then he began to get on his knees and bowed his head. And he began to read that scripture in Matthew 7, 7. Ask and you, ask and you shall receive. Seek and you shall find. So the boy began to do that and he began to re- the dog. His, his parents seen and he, he got the dog. He said, well, how can, how can the word of God tell me to ask for something and I not get it? So he was persistent in what he was doing. See, he was persistent. He began and he knew that the Bible said that if he asked us, that he asked that he shall receive it. See, in us as, 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 as Christians or us as human, we began to not do that. We begin to give up and we begin to give up and when, 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 uh, when, when uh, trials begin to hit us, we begin to give up when situations begin to come our way. We begin to get up when sickness comes. See, this little boy, he was persistent in what he was doing. He believed the word of God and he said, you know what? I'm going to believe, I'm going to go off of this, uh, this scripture and I'm going to begin to pray for it and I'm going to begin to receive it. See, that's how, that's how we need to be. We need to be like this little child. When we begin to pray and we begin to believe for something, we got to pray and believe it with, with authority. Pray and believe that, hey, you know what? I'm praying for this, and I'm going to continue to pray until something happens. Don't just give up in the midst of your prayer. Don't, get to, don't give up in the midst of your walk with Christ. Don't give up because you're going through a situation. God has something bigger and better for you, but we got to continue to fight for what God has for us. Don't give up because you're just feeling weak. Don't give up. Continue to press through. Continue to believe. Say, hey, you know what? I'm going to believe that that, 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 that person's going to come. I'm believing for that family member to come into the church house. I'm believing for that family member to be healed. But we don't. We give up. We give up because something begins to take place within our life. We give up because, because, it's, because, uh, because we get jammed up. We get rebuked and we want to give up. No, we got to be persistent. Continue to pursue the call of God. Continue to pursue and see what God has for us. This widow was persistent. She continued. To, she kept going and going and going. It says right there. It says that she, came, she kept coming. The judge had got tired of it. Amen. But we got to remember this, this evening. That we got to be persistent. Say be persistent. See the persistence of that little boy. Brought about a miracle that forever increased his faith. And not just his faith. But his, his parents faith as well. 
Persistence is something that many adults don't have. They tend to crumble under the under rough times. They seem to think they begin to see seem to think worldly instead of heavenly. They try to figure they try to figure using man's ability instead of God's abilities. And we can't do that. We got to begin to think we need to think heavily and begin to use God's abilities to continue to be to have that perseverance. Amen. God's going to continue to do something. It's not going to be us, but it's God's going to begin to use us for that family member to come in. It's going to be God the one's going to begin to use us to continue to pray for that family. It's going to be God the one's going to begin to use us to be continue to stand in the gap. We're just intercessors. We're just intercessors of what God wants us to do. Amen. We can't give up. In other words, being persistent or persevere, persevere will be winners. See, when trials and tribulations begin to come our way, we are not to give up. When the hard times face us, we are not to back, we are not to back off and look for an easy way out. When sickness, when sickness comes upon us, we are, we, are to be, we are to be persistent in our prayer. See, we are going to continue to pray and continue to believe for God to do something until we see something happen. It tells us in Philippians chapter 4, 13, he says, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Amen. And we got to continue to believe that. Why? Because he's going to continue to use us and, and we're going to continue to believe that. See, it's easy for us to fall off track. It's easy for us to get off course when something is not taking place when we want it to take place our way. Right there in verse 2, he said, in a certain town, there was a judge who neither feared God nor, nor, nor cared what people thought. And there was a widow in the town who kept coming to him and, and to the and, and with the plea, grant me justice against the adversary. And how many know that? Yeah, when yeah, we're gonna go through oppositions. Yeah, trials are gonna come our way. But how many know that we're gonna and when those trials come and when opposition comes, we gotta continue to press through. We got to continue to press through and believe, hey, you know what? I'm not going to give up. I'm going to continue to believe that something's going to take place. It's easy for us to begin to walk away when, 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 when oppositions come. It's easy for us to begin to, to, to fall like a chair when, the, when, when, when we get the fire thrown at us. Amen. But we got to believe tonight that, you know what, no matter what comes our way, no matter what the situation is, we're going to continue to believe and continue to be persistent in our prayer. We're going to continue to believe for that family. We're going to continue to believe for uh, right there for victory, uh, the Victory Center in Sunnyside to be packed out. Amen. We can't just pray for it one week and then like, not pray for the next week. We want to see it grow. Then we got to be persistent. Be persistent in going out there and hitting the streets. Be persistent in following up on those souls that are out there. And believing that, hey, you know what? It's going to be a church there one day. Amen. Believing that, hey, you know, yeah, we're going to continue to grow out there. Amen. It's just not, on, it's not just going to be on a Tuesday. Amen. I'm believing for more days over there. I'm believing that God's going to continue to do it. But we got to be persistent in our prayer. Be persistent in believing that, you know, God's going to continue to bring those souls in. See, our prayers must be consistent in consistent and persistent and then obedient to God. See, we can't just continue to pray the same words over and over again. But the more persistent we are, the more our character will expand and the stronger our faith will become and the greater our expectation will be. See, if the, here the parable, the woman, she kept coming to the judge and asking for justice against her adversary for the enemy, her opponent. But as a child of God, each, each of us will... We'll face oppositions, and the enemy is going to be try to come, try to come towards us. But we need to begin to make sure that we're prayed up, prayed up, and believe that hey, you know what? God's going to be in the center of it all. God's going to be in the center of whatever's taking place. In other words, because we are the child of God, we will undoubtedly face oppositions. Not everyone's going to think the way we think. Not everyone's going to believe what we believe, and not everyone's going to live the life that we live. But how many know that we continue to stand firm and continue to believe and continue to be persistent in what God is doing within our life, that we're going to continue to be that example to others? And here this parable, the, the illustration, what God is trying to show us is that he wants us to continue to cry out to him day and night. Continue to cry out to him day and night. Right there in verse 7 is what it says. Is that he wants us to continue to cry out to him. See, we are not to walk on the road of life by ourselves, but we are to walk hand in hand with God. We are to walk hand in hand with God. See, God will never move away from us. He is constantly, he is constantly by our side, and he is very persistent in taking care of us. He is concerned about every, 
of uh, every position of our life. It says, I will never leave you nor forsake you in the book of Hebrews. See, but God wants us to have that kind of persistent. God wants us to have that kind of persistent right there where it says to cry out to him day and night. And some of us don't do that. Some of us don't cry out to him day and night. Amen. Yeah, I can say I have, you know, yeah. Everything go good, and yeah, but, I, yeah, but we need to begin to cry out to him. Why? Because it says that in the scripture, we got to be persistent. We want to see the home. We want to see more men in the home. We need to be persistent. Continue to pray over those beds. Continue to pray over those chairs. Believe in that. You know what? God's going to bring them. Just don't pray over them one day and not believe that. You go, no, we got to continue to be persistent. Persistent and see what God's going to do. See, there's going to be times when we feel alone and discouraged because something is not progressing in the way that we think it should but we are not to give up and we are not to we are not to think about quitting don't think about quitting cuz you don't see seeing see no progress in your walk with God don't give up continue to press through continue to pray continue to believe if we continue to believe and continue to press through that's when the when we give up that's right when the the blessings there Right when we give up, is that's where the blessing is going to be there. That's why we got to continue to press through, continue to believe. Hey, you know what? I'm going to continue to press through. Yeah, it's going to get hard, but when it's getting harder, it's getting better. Hey, Amen. It's getting better. As soon as, it, as, soon as we give up, that, that, that blessing was right there. And then we want to come back to Christ, and we've got to start all over again. Start all over to try to reach, to where we're, to reach that blessing that was right there that was almost in our hands. Amen. That's why we need to stay, stay persistent in everything that we do. See, the widow was so persistent with her request that the judge finally gave in and granted her her justice, for, her justice that she desired. The judge said, because this widow keeps bothering me, I will see that she gets justice so that she won't eventually, eventually wear, wear me out with her coming. Amen. See, God wants us to come to him with our issues at any time. We will not get on his nerves, nor will, nor will he get tired of listening to our prayers. See, if the earthly judge can grant justice, how much more can ours? Amen. How much more can ours? Amen. And we got to understand that tonight, that our, our, our judge, he can grant more than, amen, than anything. Amen. And we got to believe that. He wants us to be persistent and keep on communicating with him through our prayers. Amen. That's how we're going to continue to connect with him. That's how we're going to continue to be persistent in what we do is through prayer. Through prayer, amen. And we gotta understand that. Sometimes people will know it's yeah, prayer, prayer is a lot. Prayer is gonna get you a long, long way. Prayer is gonna get you a long, long way. You just gotta be persistent in it. I think I heard Bob, Brother Bobby say on Tuesday, you know, it's not it's not gonna be a walk in the tulips. Amen. It's not gonna be in the walk in the tulips, but it's a walk to the tulips. Amen. And we gotta understand that tonight. We got to understand that, hey, you know what? When we're praying, we got to be persistent, persistent in our prayer and believing. Just like this widow was, this widow was persistent. She continued to go and, and ask for her request. And guess what? You know, God began to do it. God began to give her, give her what she was asking for. That child, the child, he's, he was persistent because he wanted to learn how to walk. Yeah, he was wobbling. And that's just like us. Through our Christianity, we begin to wobble, we begin to, to get hit, and we begin to fall, and begin to, things begin to take place. But we don't, learn, we don't want to get back up and continue to be persistent and go with what God had for us. We just want to stay right there on the ground. No, let's be persistent and continue to fight the good fight. Amen. Continue to fight the good fight as the worship team makes their way tonight. We just got to be persistent. Say, be persistent. Be persistent when God has for us. There's going to be hard times, but in those hard times is when God's trying to speak to you. And those hard times is when God's trying to tell you something. And some of us might be going through something tonight. Some of us might be going through something. But I just want to let you know, you just got to be persistent. Continue to fight. Continue to push through. God has something for you. Don't give up. The blessing's there. The blessing's right around the corner. And what happens, we begin to ruin it for ourselves because we're easy to fall off course. It's easy to fall off course in what God has for us. And instead of sticking it out, instead of believing, hey, you know what? I'm going to continue to fight. I'm going to continue to believe. I'm going to continue to, to know that, you know what? God's, God's with me. It says right there that God's never going to leave us nor forsake us. We're the ones that leave him. 
We're the ones that begin to walk away from him. We're the ones that begin to, to be like, oh, begin to push him away. And how many know that he's persistent? Our God's persistent. He continues to chase us. He continues to be right there with us. And it's us, the ones that begin to push him away. It's us, the ones that begin to be like, no, I don't want it. But how many know that God's right here with us tonight? And he's being persistent. He wants to pull you closer to him. He wants to pull us closer to him. As we all stand tonight. Come on, let's begin to lift our hands right there tonight. Have your way, have your way, have your way, have your way. I just want to move your heart. It's all I want to do. I just want to stand in awe. You pour my love on you. No, oh, have your way, have your way, have your way. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Have your way tonight, Lord Jesus. Ooh, have your way, 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 Lord. I'm going to go ahead and open up these altars tonight. And you say, you know what? I need to be more persistent and continue to see what God has for me. I'm going to, I, want to be, I need to be more persistent in my prayer. I need to be more persistent and continue to do what God has for me. These altars are open tonight. So is it a fragrance in our
have your way, have your way, have your way, have your way, have your way. Have your way, Lord Jesus. I'm just going to be persistent in the storms. Be persistent in, what, in those storms that come our way. Continue to stand firm. Continue to believe. The blessing's there. But we begin to run from it. We begin to run from what God has for us. But how many know that if we stand firm and believe and be persistent in our walk with Christ, that we're going to receive that blessing? Just continue to pray. Cry out to him, he says. Cry out to him day and night. When we're going through a situation, when we're going through something, cry out to him in prayer. Cry out to him. But when you're crying out to him and you're praying to him, we got to make sure we're believing. Believing that those prayers are going to be answered. Believing that that family is going to be healed. Believing that that person is going to be, be healed from that sickness. But it, it all comes, it starts with us. When we're praying and we're believing that. I want to be persistent in what God has for us. Right there, I'm just going to pray out. Father God, we just come before you tonight, Father God. I just pray, Lord, that you just begin to move with upon each and every single one of us tonight, Father God. That you just continue, Father God, to be with us, Father God. That we stay persistent, Father God, in, in, in our prayer life. That we stay persistent in our walk with you, Father God. That we're knowing... Father God, that you have something greater for us, Father God, that you're never going to leave us nor forsake us, Father God, that you're persistent, Father God, when you're with us, Father God. Father God, through our ins and our outs, Father God, that you're there, Father God, watching over us, Father God. I just pray, Father God, that you can just seal this message within our hearts, Father God. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray, we say, amen and amen. Don't forget we have some root beer floats out there in the foyer.